heavy hitters in the Trump organization. Can you sell them on why they should basically hire you? Hello, how are you? Hi there, Kwame. Good. Nice to meet you, Kwame. Hi, Kwame. How are you? All right. Have a seat. I've heard it through the grapevine that sometimes your energy level isn't always where it should be. Do you feel that way? No, I feel like I wear my energy different than others. It's just a style difference. I'm not, I'm not outwardly, you know. You've been around Donald for 12 yes. weeks now. If he is an energy level type person, then wouldn't he perceive you as being somebody who's not out there pushing hard? Amy, you're pretty familiar with the organization right now. And I'd like to hear your description of the organization. I have uh, read quite a bit on Mr. Trump, and I think the value that I can bring is I think no, real estate. I didn't ask you about the value. I okay. just want to know about how you feel the organization works. I think people that can be a devil's advocate and say, Charlie, I think that's a bad idea, and here's why. How, how would wrong. you know it's a bad idea? Do you have I, a sense of construction? Not from, no. I, do, I don't okay. have a sense of construction, but I and think. What are you going to do when you're, when you're managing a construction schedule and some grisly dull contractor just says, lady, you don't know what you're talking about? Sometimes I'm never satisfied. And some people will view this as a positive, but it, it can be a curse. I disagree with you because I think that's a strength. You do? If you're never satisfied, and that means you're always striving well, for, I, see, for, I, for more. And there's always something up there that's better. Well, I still don't think you've told me a real weakness. Okay. Um, well, that, that's one. So but that's I, not a weakness. No. I'm well-spoken. I'm smart. And I have an effect on people that's positive. What are you going to bring to the table other than your charisma? What's going to make me want to say, hey, this is the guy I want to work with? You have to perform. And they were firing some tough questions at us. And, and uh... I don't know if everybody can handle it. What are you doing day one? Introduce myself and uh, present a vision for the organization. And you'll be able to do that on day one without even knowing the first thing about this entity? You know, obviously you've been getting by on your instincts. Sure as hell not getting by on your education. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My education, I mean, I'm proud of my education. Would you have a problem hiring women yourself? No, I got my job to do. I got no time to teach you anything. Come on, learn by yourself. With a family, mortgage, car loans kids to raise. Why should I do for him? Because they're going to say, hey, he's the new hotshot. Do you consider yourself a loyal employee? And how you are perceived by Donald Trump. I mean, everybody here is very stressed. What do you think their perception is of why you're here? Because I sure as hell can't figure it out. Thank you for your time. I don't think any of the interviews were easy. They were tough questions. If you came in there unprepared and, and you didn't give them quality answers, uh, I think it would have been a catastrophe. I don't even remember what it was, but I'm like, I'm not making any sense. So hopefully it's the quality of how I deliver it and not what I say. <laughs> I honestly can say this is the first time that I don't know if I'll make the cut because I think we're all qualified. I think that it just depends upon what skill set Mr. Trump and his advisors are looking for. And, and that's the big unknown. So look, we're going to be firing two people. You spent an entire day with them, Norma. What do you think? Who are you most impressed with? Bill. He's solid. I like what he said. I like the way he did things and spoke about things. I, I thought he was good. I liked him a lot. All right. Charlie? Bill, to me, is a kind of guy who I could relate to immediately. He certainly could hit the ground running and would require very little supervision and time. Alan, what do you think of Kwame? He indicated to me that energy isn't always outward. And I said, well, this company is full of energy. And unless you portray the energy to Mr. Trump, he will think you're sort of laid back and that won't take But he may much. be right about that. It's a very interesting statement. He may be right. I mean, we see a lot of people with a lot of energy, but it gets but a no way product. Yeah. It's all wasted energy. He's got a likability about him. And in my business, if you can get an extra two or three minutes out of someone when you're sitting face to face with them because you're likable, that's important. I mean, Tom got me good because he was like, you know, you got to give me a reason to vouch for you with the losing record. He's like, you got a losing record. How are you going to explain that? I saw Kwame today, and he didn't look as confident as, as I've seen him. The same thing with Bill. This is what it's all about, performing in front of key people. Let's do this. All right. What do you think of Nick? I like Nick a lot as a person. I got to feel he's a guy with a lot of potential, but clearly is not a sharp kind of guy clearly doesn't present himself as an intellect. Nick, I felt, was a great person to sell a product. He comes right at you, he's in your face, but there's nothing behind that. Can't see him heading one of your companies, Mr. Trump. Can't see it. Why? Because I think he's 
I think he's a little bit too slick for his own good. And I honestly didn't walk away from that meeting feeling like, like I know him. All right, Norma, what did you think of Amy? I think she would get on my nerves after a while. I think she'd like being the enthusiastic young girl with the big smile that, you know, and the perfect teeth. Honestly, Mr. Trump, she irritated the hell out of me. And I sensed that there was definitely a hunger with her and a drive, but I'm not sure what a motivation is. Amy kind of reminded me of a Stepford wife. Within 15 minutes, I was dead bored with talking to her. I felt her words had no content. Her answers were basically meaningless. I would have always, in my own person, rejected that kind of personality because it's an empty personality. Wow, I didn't expect to hear that. But I trust you guys. So now I really do have a pretty good idea about what I need to do. Well, listen, thank you all very much. We appreciate it. Go back to work. Okay. We're having a good year. Let's continue. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.